Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I will show you how to install Python 3.7 version and also I will show how to install the PyCharm editor which is one of the most popular Python editor. So what we'll do, we'll install uh, Python 3.7 okay, and then we'll open it. From this, we'll go to downloads download python 3.7.3 and we'll save this save this file okay our file is already saved and we'll execute now we'll click here install now so that it will be saved in this folder so the execution is done so what we'll do we'll close this and we will open from our windows 10 we will open this python 3.3 uh, 3.7 this ideally python we will verify whether uh, this python 3.7.3 is installed uh, correctly or not so what we'll do We'll type uh, print hello so this is coming correctly now if we give 5 plus 10 this is also correctly so our python 3.7.3 is installed correctly now what we'll do we need to install a uh, pycharm for that we will open JetBrains and in JetBrains we will we will uh, open this PyCharm. So now we will open this uh, JetBrains and we will see this uh, down uh, PyCharm download. So we'll uh, click on this download now, and then we will see uh, two versions of PyCharm. One is the professional and one is community. Community will be free, so we'll download the community version. So once we click here, save it. It will be like save. We'll just need to execute this. So it is getting executed. Just give the path where you want to save it and then click on next here we will uh, click on the dot py and then again click next and then just uh, click on install okay this is done so then we will uh, click on finish and here we will go and uh, we can see here jetbrains pycharm community just click on this in this screen like it depends like uh, whether you want to create a new, new project or you want to open an existing project or you can uh, like the version controlling uh, whether it's a get or other tool from where you want to open your code so what we'll do before opening this we will configure it and we'll go to the settings in the setting tabs we will make sure that the interpreter is python 3.7 which we have installed initially okay so this is the location where we have added here what we'll do we'll mention the uh, folder where we'll execute our first program and the base inter interpreter will be the python 3.7 and we'll click okay okay and this is will uh, import the packages whatever is required and it is creating a virtual environment okay we'll apply then we'll click okay now we'll try to create a new project it will say So finally, our PyCharm editor is open, it is loading. So this is the folder which I have created that will contain my the first program. So what I do, I'll, I'll give a right click and I'll give new, and I'll give Python file. Okay, the name of the is first, okay. First program, I'll give, okay. So our uh, like first program, the editor is ready for the PyCharm. So what we'll do, we'll give print hello India and we'll execute this we'll give a right click and we'll run this first program so you can see the output is hello India and uh, the process is finished with an exit code of zero now there is one more thing even if we are not fine with running here we can run in windows 10 there is a power go to windows 10 powershell windows powershell here it has taken me to this uh, folder you see user Imran and then just give a right click here okay and then press enter it has come. even like if you can simply write UI Python and uh, you can write uh, and uh, we are here in PyCharm project UI okay and then what is uh, our folder here HOLLA folder and our first first program is our the name of the first Python program press and enter and it is so this is how like we have come across 
installing the python 3.7 version followed by installing the pycharm so this is how we have installed pycharm and also python 3.7 and we have executed our first program so thanks a lot for watching this session and if you feel uh, this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also let me know if you want me to install any other software